Newton Crouch Incorporated presents technical tips. Okay, we're here today. We're going to be testing a truck. We're going to show you some of our processes to make sure that you receive a piece of equipment in great working condition and that it'll do what we say it's going to do. We'll start with our PTO calculation sheet. We're looking for how much the pump is producing at a certain RPMs. We've got to operate in RPMs, not the maximum RPMs, but the operating RPMs. We put a certain power takeoff on it and we're looking for 32 gallons, which takes a specific size. We come down here and this is our theoretical gallons as close as we can get to it. It's gonna be about 35 gallons. Okay, so we're gonna be testing the pump. This is the flow from the pump. This is a tandem pump. We only be testing one section today, but we should have this come up to somewhere around 35, 36 gallons, because it's brand new. You'll be able to see the pressure. We've got the flow control valve on here. It's actually it's all the way open. So as we read, whatever we read here, 35 gallons, or this is setting at 10, we should see 35 gallons on our other flow control valve. These are all test units, and uh, they'll be tested at the uh, operating RPMs. On this truck, it's 2400. And we also can test the pressure relief valve using the pressure simulator here. Track that and see if we can turn it. Okay, as you can see, we've aligned the valves by using the O-rings. That's why we love O-rings. You can adjust the uh, fittings in any position you want. It's real simple. Just cracked it and turned it. This is our test. Coming up from the pump, 2400 RPM. It's producing right what we, the sheet said it should be, 30, almost 36 gallons. We go through the CF, which is control flow. Everything comes in there. We set it 10, and all should be going through. We see it's only got 21 gallons. That's a problem because it takes oil to make the spinners turn. You can actually predict how fast it turns by the amount of oil you have. So the maximum oil supplied here you'd be limited to about 650 RPM. So as you came out of your window, start dying it back down, David. Start taking it back down. Take it on back down. You see this? You see this start to fall. Well, that means your spinners are falling. You can really tell real quickly that you're going to be out of the operating range if you want to do a good spread pattern. Conclusion would be something's wrong with, with the flow control valve. We hope this video has answered your questions. Technical assistance is available 24-7 on our YouTube channel or our website www.newtoncrouch.com. Call us at 800-241-1350. A real person will answer the phone. No recorded menus. Our knowledgeable staff will be glad to help you. Proudly Made in America, a family-owned business since 1940, Newton Crouch.